In this video, I'm going to talk about different data types in Max. So here on the screen, I have a bunch of different objects laid out, and we're going to start from left to right. The most basic data type is called a bang. So I like to call this a doorbell. No numbers, no states, just a simple trigger, like tapping someone on the shoulder or ringing a doorbell. You click it, and it says, click, hello, I'm there. Notice that this object print is just showing me I'm getting a bang into this object. So what are bangs used for? Well, they trigger an output. They can stop and start toggles and media files, trigger buttons, messages, simulate a click. They're really useful for automating and scheduling things you want to happen in your project. Next, I have numbers. So this is a toggle object, which you're probably familiar with. But maybe you didn't realize that actually when you're turning it on, the toggle object is sending out a number. One for on and zero for off. You can also have number boxes, which I can scroll up and down, or I could type in any number that I want. Notice that this slider here is just a visual representation of what number I'm at. This is very high, I'm going to type in something else. The slider takes an input of a number and an output of a number. Really important about numbers, there are actually two different types of numbers. So thus far we've only been looking at integers, which are whole numbers. There's also floating point numbers, which have decimal points after them, or some sort of fraction, which gives you the ability to do partial numbers. This will become really, really important later on as you get into coding because some things can only take integers and some can only take floats. I've lost many hours of my life debugging when really the problem was that I was using the wrong type of number. So keep that in mind. Messages are like custom buttons you can create to give specific commands to objects. You can click them and type anything you want into them and they'll output whatever you have typed, letters or numbers. So why would that be important? Well, you could, going back to the toggle, you could send it a number, or you could give an object a piece of information that it needs. So here we have an audio signal. And notice that before all of our patch cords were gray, that's showing that there's some sort of max data, so a number or bang. And here we have MSP data, that's an audio signal. We have these yellow and black striped cords to show that actually we're playing sound. Okay, that's great. But let's say that I want to modify something about this sound, the speed for example. Well, I can use a message here to say speed, and let's make it three times as fast. And then I'm going to connect this message into my playlist. Lock my patch and press speed 3. Now let's play it. Okay, messages are really useful in sending data and they're also useful to store data. The last type of data that we'll look at right now is a jitter matrix, or you might just think of this as a video feed. And these are green with smaller little black dots. All right, that's data types.